Hey, hello everyone, this is Stuff, you're watching Stuff HD, and I know, as usual, I tend to start these videos by explaining that I haven't made a video in a while, and that sucks, I'm sorry, um, the last videos I did was actually uh, from Puerto Rico, the real videos, you know, I've been uploading the podcast, but, yeah, <laughs> I know most of you don't want to listen to a half hour, hour and a half podcast, so, but here I am, <laughs> uh, making this video, and you know, basically my issue is the same as usual. I don't know what I want to make videos about, but today I wanted to to kind of show you guys uh, this little setup that I got going here. So, yeah, let, let's get this video started. All right, so what was it that I wanted to talk about today is basically, um, sorry, I got a computer over here. I'm trying to do something. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about this little device, the ATM, ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini. Um, apparently ATEM doesn't actually stand for anything, but they write every letter in uppercase for some reason. Um, but it is basically this device that, that I'm showing you right here. Uh, and this is a video switcher where I can go ahead and switch between multiple videos. So at the beginning of this uh, episode, uh, this video, I showed you my something, the, the little logo playing from my computer. And then I can just go right back to this camera or I can go back to this camera over here to show you guys the, the little thing um, so yeah it's it's a it's a video mixer that actually costs less than three hundred dollars made by black magic and black magic makes video mixers uh, for the professional people <laughs> professional use and they cost thousands of dollars and they came out with this ATEM Mini, which is part of the ATEM line, like the ATEM line, it's a professional grade stuff. But you know, th this one is just tiny. It, it's tiny, it's got, it's a little bit hard to see uh, over here, but it's got four HDMI inputs. So four different devices that you can plug in. And then it's got an HDMI output and it's also got um, USB-C output so that you can connect it to a laptop and, and use it as a webcam so you can actually have like four different cameras connected to your computer as a webcam and use it for your I don't know your Skype conversations or or more importantly you can use it for um, at, uh what is it called OBS um, so that you can do live streaming or go straight to YouTube and do live streaming with different cameras. And, and you know, the, the important thing, like I mentioned, is it doesn't have to be cameras. It could just be, um, it could be a computer. Uh, it could be a camera, it could be a computer. Or in, in my case, one of the things that, I, that I'm planning on doing is actually uh, making video games. So, very soon, I haven't uploaded any videos yet, but very soon there will be a new channel that I have going on. Uh, it, it will be called Anarchy Live, which is the old name from that Stuff HD used to have. Anarchy Live is just going to be videos of me playing video games. So if you care at all to watch that, um, I'm not very good with video games, uh, but you know, I figure every once in a while I would make a quick video, uh, me playing a little game, uh, uh, and that could be fun. So I actually have a Nintendo Mini over here, classic Nintendo, uh, and I can actually uh, go ahead and switch to that and, and go ahead and start playing the, the games and talk to the camera while playing the games. And, Right now, you guys are probably not getting any of that audio, but I can go ahead and turn on the audio. And this is me being really bad with Super, Super Mario. 
So one of the things that it does do, it, it does have picture-in-picture, picture, which I can turn on. However, picture-in-picture picture only works with... Um, wait, what, what did I... Let me turn off that audio. Let me pause that game. So picture-in-picture <laughs> picture only works with whatever is connected to camera 1, to the HDMI 1. For some reason, I connected this camera to HDMI 2 because I wasn't thinking, and then this other one to this other one to HDMI 1, that one. <laughs> uh, so, so that's why when I turn on my picture in picture, I only get, uh, you know, that camera. Is it there? No, it's over there. It's up. It's up there. Well, I can also put it over here, or over here, or over here, so I can move it around. I cannot resize it easily. Uh, the thing has green key, which I have not set up. Uh, it can do transitions, like you see from here, like that. Or we can change the type of transition that it does. Um, you know, we can we can change the duration of a transition, make it last a little bit longer. Same when going to the computer over there. It's got a couple of these uh, almost. Let me turn that off. So it's got a couple of these. And that one. It's not a whole lot of transitions, but yeah, it's something. Um, personally, I like the, the, the good old uh, fade. So. Again, under 300 bucks, this this is something that, again, normally costs so much more. Uh, uh, and this came out like in September, I believe, and it, it, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So what I am doing, though, right now is this whole setup that I have going on right now, it does not use a computer at all. Like, I have a computer over here, but only because I wanted to to, to show you guys the the little, you know, that little thing. But um, right now I am not using a computer at all because I am using this other device that I purchased. Let's see if we can move this camera to take a better look at that device. I got a little light over there. It kind of sucks, but let's see. So this little device, it's a HDMI recorder. Clear click. HDMI recorder this one was like 250 bucks basically HDMI in and HDMI out so I have the HDMI going in from from the from the mixer have it going into here this is recording the video right now and then I have the HDMI out to the monitor over here so that I can actually see what what is going on so so yeah this is the the ATA mini if if you know you can buy it from amazon that's where i bought it the clear click i think it's also it's these devices are usually like the, these little things are usually a lot more expensive um like the, the 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 you know brand name ones are pretty expensive they they tend to be like over 500 bucks this one was 250 bucks i wasn't expecting much but it's been working pretty good you know it, it only records 1080p it's not gonna record 4k but uh you know i record i have this in 1080p anyway and this, uh, the ATEM Mini, it can also only do 1080p. It does not do 4K. So keep that in mind. A couple of the things that I hate about the ATEM Mini is that it does not have a power switch. I absolutely hate that because if I want to turn it off, I have to, like, unplug it. And I'm like, why? Why not just put a quick little power switch? Like, I don't get it. Uh, and even though it has two ports for microphone uh, for you know a mic input or you know whatever auxiliary input uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks 
it doesn't have an actual 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to monitor the audio so uh, that's why over here uh, on this recorder I also have my headphones plugged in so that I can actually record the audio coming in here because this thing doesn't let me record the audio uh, from itself which I'm like I don't I don't understand it does so much yet some basic things like a power switch and a little audio thing it doesn't um, I don't get it but whatever <laughs> uh, I figured out a way so yeah, it's not that big of a deal um, so yeah I think it's pretty cool I think it's worth it oh it also does fade to black so I love that <laughs> it's kinda cool uh, and if you don't want transitions you can also just switch this to here let me let me show you here it's on auto so that's for the transitions but if I switch it to cut then it can just easily cut, cut between between the different I'll stop doing that now uh, it also does green screen but I haven't been able to to play with that yet because I don't have a green screen uh, but it, it's good to know that I can do it. it apparently it's actually pretty good um, but again I haven't been able to play with it but if you guys want to know more about this you know there's a ton of videos on, on YouTube of course but you can also let me know if there's anything uh, specific that you would like to see or, or know more about and I'll try I'll try to to make it work um, I did order a bunch of short HDMI cables because I didn't have any short ones and and this table is a mess right now and it's mostly cables like the actual setup is not that complicated like you know I have I have the stuff coming into the into the mini and then I have the HDMI going into the recorder and then from the recorder to the thing and really that that's all there is to it but um, again it's just all my HDMI cables are too long <laughs> and it becomes a huge mess it looks a lot worse than, than, than what it really is. So anyway, uh, this will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know again if, if you have any questions, if there's anything else that you would like me to, to, to add. Um, yeah, I'm going to get going now. You all take care. I'm out of here. Bye.